Dre heard me rap and was like, I love your rap and I think you dope. He was like, man, I, I want to help you get signed. And I'm like, man, I love to get signed, right? All my friends is getting signed to majors. He's like, we're not a major, but, but I can help you get some money in your pocket. 48 hours later, $23,000 was in my hand. I work for Mac Dre's mother mm -hmm. and his daughter in whatever capacity that they need me. Me and Mac Dre recorded three songs, maybe four songs together mm -hmm. because our relationship wasn't based on music either. Mm -hmm. um, I was on a dope track with mm -hmm. my homies. Like we had crack in our mouth and I was writing raps with nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. And I went to high school with Mac Dre's cousin Los and he pulled up one day and was the day before the Mac's funeral. So the Mac is where Mac Dre, right. Mac Maul, mm -hmm. shout out to Mac Maul, my little brother, mm -hmm. where, you know, a Mac Duna, where all the Macs and, mm -hmm. and the Crests get their name from. The Mac had just got <clears throat> killed in a mistaken identity. And he's like, tomorrow's the Mac's funeral. Mm -hmm. My relationship with the Mac is go back to the time of when I met Tupac. The Mac had a record cover that's like, it was like the only other person I saw do this was really Ice T at the time. Mm -hmm. The one Dre redid? The one Dre redid. Yeah, that and was the Mac dope. is on the cover and they're in silk and valleys mm -hmm. and they got guns and the girls and the cars. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm looking at this record like, yo. And then when I flipped it over, the number on the back was 707 for business inquiries. Mm -hmm. That's my 707. That means they live by my yeah. house. One day I need to find these dudes and work with them. Lowe's picks me up. He said, I gotta, I gotta stop and get Dre an outfit for the funeral. So he stopped to get Dre an outfit, got me an outfit for the funeral too. My first day coming to the crest was walking into the church for the Max funeral, which is how I met them. Mm -hmm. After that, we in Crest Park, Dre like, I heard you could rap. Pac had started working on his record, but he was mostly touring with digital around um, same song. Mm -hmm. and um which was the first record he was on for digital underground right and um dre heard me rap and was like i love your rap and i think you dope mm -hmm. he was like man i, I want to help you get signed and i'm like man i love to get signed right mm -hmm. all my friends is getting signed to majors he's like we not a major but but i can help you get some money in your pocket mm -hmm. 48 hours later twenty three thousand dollars was in my hand Mm -hmm. That was my first real rap, like real rap money. And that's from Young Black Brother. And that's from Young Black Brother. Yeah. And uh, that, and and Dre takes me home to Mac Wanda's house and they got a five bedroom house and Mac Wanda got a Benz and a BMW mm -hmm. and, and they gave me my own room to sleep in. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, who is Mac Dre? <laughs> like, who is this dude? He's right. always been Mac Dre. Always and, been fun. Let me let me ask you. So is this Mac Dre from uh, uh, On My Toes, Living? California Love? No, this California is Living. this is no California Living. Yeah, 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 Living. yeah. You close, Living. you close. California he's, Living. He's working on California Living at okay. the time. Okay. This is right after Too Hard for the fucking okay. radio All time right. period, yeah. right? Yeah. And the irony of like my relationship with Dre is the reason why I wanted to sign over there was to be with Dre, mm -hmm. and. We doing shows and having the best time. We go to Fresno. We do a show. Uh, meet a bunch of girls out there. The girls in Fresno <laughs> is turned up. We turned up. Two weeks later, a week later, we want to go back to Fresno. But I'm so broke. Like, I don't have no money. Mm -hmm. I want to go. I'm trying to go. I want to go, right? Mm -hmm. I asked DJ C, who was our DJ, man, can I borrow $100? And some weed. He was like, no. <laughs> he was like, hell no. Like, you you want me to pay for your little, like, fun yeah. games? And <laughs> friend, like, man, no. You need to be in the studio. You yeah. need to be working. So I didn't go. A few days later, Dre and him was arrested out right. there. Mm -hmm. I know that Dre went out there to hang mm -hmm. out with girls. Mm -hmm. Mac Dre. Right. Like, that was the, the highlight of his day. Right. He wasn't on that, but, yeah, right. but the point is, doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of convolution, and mm -hmm. both of us were very mouthy in our music. Mm -hmm. All of us, my whole squad. I mean, was that was very, hip hop, though. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I think the police really looked at us as a significant threat. 
because their children mm -hmm. was listening to it and being influenced by right. it. And so they was embarrassed by that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Day of California Love video, I went to jail in Vallejo mm -hmm. and the Vallejo police took me to the other side of town where they, that who they thought were enemies of the crest mm -hmm. and released us into the enemy's neighborhood. Wow. But I was so unknown, I didn't know nobody. Wow. You know, it mm -hmm. didn't it didn't affect me like that. But they I it definitely was a beef between the black community and the police department <clears throat> right. at that time. And this is where punk police and Yeah, this is like where that. punk yeah. police and, mm -hmm. and all of that came from. Mm -hmm. Um for me, I believe that you stick with you dance with the girl that you came with. You mm -hmm. stick with the squad that you you came with. Yeah. You 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 know, as long as everybody is honorable to one another. That's right. You you don't need to go anyplace else, right? Yeah. I want to take my team to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to. I know this is the time of free agency, mm -hmm. right? Artists go to a, whatever labels pop and get signed, get a check. I don't know how to do that. Never mm -hmm. knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, these are these are always where my loyalty lies. The, let me let me ask you, with Young Black Brother, did they ever have a ma did they ever have major distribution? I believe wasn't it? Yeah, Atlantic? we signed we signed to Atlantic. Atlantic, right, right, right. <clears throat> that was um how do I put it? So we signed to Atlantic six months before Time Warner sold mm -hmm. Interscope. Mm -hmm. Why that's relevant is the reason why they sold Interscope was because they were embarrassed over uh gangster rap, mm -hmm. Tupac Records, um, what became Death mm -hmm. Row and mm -hmm. all of that. They were really embarrassed of that. The vice president had issues with it. A young man in Texas killed a state trooper, said he was listening to a Tupac record at the I time. That. Yep. And it and it <clears throat> became very just a strange time to mm -hmm. be signed. So they were basically paying us to stay home. Mm, okay. I released Forever Hustling. It was a, people say it's a classic. Mm -hmm. It did really well. It didn't go gold because they didn't want it to. Mm -hmm. They wanted it to be quiet. Mm -hmm. They wanted, they didn't want the, it was an election time period. Right. They didn't want to smoke with that, right? Okay. And so that, you know, that affected me. Like every step of the way in this business, I've seen so many different elements of it. And I started a company with my nephew, mm -hmm. with my homeboy, called Tanyard. Uh, Tanyard Management is basically to help artists um, be successful, but not just be successful, how to be successful. Mm -hmm. When my mother was doing music, a and R meant artists and repertoire. Right. So they would sit down and do media training like yep. we we doing yep. right now. They would yep. be able to do interviews. Your first few years, man, you don't just go um uh shacking up with any random person that you meet, male or female, whatever your thing is, right? They taught you how to protect yourself mm -hmm. and what you're supposed to do with your with your with your brand. Around, comes around, karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.